Hello, beautiful people. What's up? Thanks for coming back to my little space. We have been in quarantine, in self-isolation for like pretty much all of 2020 at this point, okay? 2020. And to be honest, there are certain things that I have, certain products that I have found that have just made my life better in this time. I'm not gonna even gonna lie. You don't need these things that I'm gonna tell you, but these are some things that I have really liked and have just truly transformed my time here. This journey in self-isolation. So let's do this. One of the biggest changes honestly for me during this whole self-isolation has not been able to go to my favorite coffee shops. If you are like, if you know me at all, then you know that I was always up in the coffee shops, always trying out the new drinks, always sitting there doing like my work, like opening my laptop, setting up my stuff, ordering my drink, taking a pic, you know? That was my life before quarantine and you can imagine that my life has really changed since then. But what has really changed the way I make coffee at home besides the Nespresso machine, which I mean, I didn't include this, but you can include that because it's amazing. Besides the Nespresso machine, it is these glass mason jars. Oh my gosh. They just make the presentation so nice. They look beautiful. They glisten in the light. But other than that, the real reason I like them is because if you buy mason jars that have like a lid at the top, you can close it up and then you can shake your latte. It's especially great for ice drinks because when you shake it up, it just, I don't know what it is. Like I am sure this is scientifically proven that if you shake your coffee, your latte, it tastes so much better. I, I don't know what it is, okay? So yeah, I highly recommend a glass mason jar if you're a very, you know, if you're into coffee. If you're not into coffee, you can make it, you, you can use it to make your matcha lattes, basically any ice drink promise it will change your life. We're slowly getting to fall, you know, here in Atlanta. It's getting, no, I'm kidding, it's not cold um, at all. It's not fall yet, okay? But if you want to feel cozy and like kind of warm-ish, but not over, you don't want to overheat essentially, these, oh my gosh, these sweat shorts, I understand now, okay? I understand why these things are such a big trend right now. I bought a pair and I get it. They're just, they're so cozy, okay? It's so comfortable if you're working from home, if you don't really have to leave your house right now. These are amazing and they keep you warm and cozy, but you still get to air out because they're shorts. It's great. This one's kind of an oldie. I feel like this has been around for so long, but I will say, my Kindle, my Kindle here has really shaken up my uh, quarantine routine. I mean, I still remember the days where I was in middle school and I would go to Barnes and Noble after my mom and I would go to the mall together and I would tell her, mom, I'm gonna like go out on my own, okay? I'm gonna go out shopping on my own. Like you do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing. And I would walk into Barnes and Noble with like my limited two outfit and I'd walk past all the Kindles and be like, what's that? That looks weird. And then I would go to like the teen romance section and like stand there and like pretend to be looking and then there'd be like a cute boy walk by and I'd be like, oh my God. If you understand what I'm talking about, if you've had that thing, let me know. Okay, so the great thing about this, especially for the summertime, is that I can read at the pool. Gone are the days where you have to like bring the physical copy and then you put on your sunscreen or your tanning lotion and then the book gets disgusting. This thing is amazing, it's waterproof. I can read at the pool, I can read in the bath. I mean, I can also prop it up so I can read it while I'm eating. Um, man, like I can read at night. I don't have to turn on the light because this thing lights up on its own. I, oh, I can look up a word like instantly. I can click on the word and look it up like that is insane. I mean, if you've been contemplating getting a Kindle, this is your sign, honey. This is your sign. Okay. So I mentioned this product in my last video actually, but I'm going to, I have to bring your attention to it one more time. Okay. One more time for the people in the back. This 
Serum by Drunk Elephant. Before you look it up, this thing is expensive. I know, it's $90. That is obscene. However, mask me, okay? Mask me is a thing. Essentially, it is acne that appears around your mouth that comes from wearing your mask because of corona, wearing your mask for a long period of time because then you start to sweat and bacteria starts to grow there and then you get mask me. I put this on my face after I've cleansed my skin. So cleanse my skin, double cleanse, then like put this on and then I put on my moisturizer and any oils that you put on and girl, it works. I'm really, I'm, I'm using like a tiny pump because I'm like, this has to last me forever. Okay, I can't repurchase this, this is so expensive, oh my god. So if we want to talk about comfort, we have to talk about this dress right here, okay? This thing is so comfortable. It's basically a very large oversized, I don't know if this is exact name for this type of dress, but kind of like a shift dress. It's not flattering very, it's not that flattering. I mean, my mom tried to convince me. She tried to convince me to try to return this thing because she was like, Greta, that doesn't look cute, Miha. If you really want it to fit you better and like you want it to hug your body better, you can just throw on a belt, like a really skinny belt at your waist, then you're good to go. I mean, I look like a big baby when I wear this. It looks like kind of like a little girl's dress, but it's so comfortable. And it was like the only thing that I could wear when that sciatica pain was at its worst. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, if we actually want to talk comfy, then I have to, I have to tell you about these. These are such a beautiful, creation these slippers are so comfortable if i wear this and that shift dress together honey i used to just like wear uh flip-flops around the house no 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 if you wear flip-flops around the house you need slippers these are so great i love them they come in different colors and they're just so cute let's talk about back pain honey okay Back pain, I didn't realize how many things are connected to your lower back until I started getting that sciatica pain. I mean, I'm someone who takes her work very seriously and I will sit for hours and hours and hours at my desk not realizing how much time has passed and I'm so bad about remembering to get back, to get up and like move around and stretch, which you should do like every 30 minutes or every hour. I just wasn't doing it. And so I got a standing desk converter. Oh my gosh, this thing has changed the game. It's so good. You just like plop it on top of the desk that you already have and you can just work. It's so great. And if you're tired of standing, then you can just like kind of push it back down and sit back down and continue working. It's so good. It changed my life truly changed my life. My sciatica is going away. Can we get a round of applause? Bravo, bravo, bravo. Great. With all of this um, time on our hands, not having to commute to work, not really going to see that many people, I have been so much more consistent with my bullet journal. But what really has changed the game with my bullet journaling are these Pigma Micron black pens at the beginning of quarantine and self-isolation i was using these really old like black markers that were so bad and then i finally got these and i'm like why didn't i get these earlier these are so great it comes in a big pack i think it's like a pack of eight black pens and they're all different thicknesses and so you can switch them out they're just so precise and they're just so black they don't smudge these are so good Yes. So a kind of weird slash fun fact about me is that I actually grew up watching Japanese anime. So this might sound kind of random. I mean, not so much right now because anime is like really blowing up among like not just like hardcore anime people. But my dad, he actually lived in Japan for like four years, I think, before I was born. And he would always put on the Studio Ghibli movies for me and my sister. I just like put on Kiki's Delivery Service and oh my 
god! <laughs> it just made me feel so nostalgic. It made me feel so at peace, so calm. The music, the animation, like the whole package of Studio Ghibli movies is just so darn cute. Okay, this last favorite isn't really, it's not really tangible either, but it is this specific Spotify playlist called Butter. So Spotify describes the playlist as alternative soul, hip hop, and all that jazz. So I've always loved hip hop, I've always loved soul music and jazz. And if you have a song or a music genre that can blend all of them together into one, girl, that's it. I'm gonna tell you some of my favorites from the playlist. Window by Still Woozy. Hugh Man by Green Tea Peng, and By Any Means by Georgia Smith. If you have a favorite Spotify playlist, actually, please let me know in the comments because I would love to expand my horizons, you know? So these are some things that have really helped me get through this really weird time and scary time and uncertain time of quarantine and I really hope that this helps you in some way or inspires you or you got some screenshots, you took some notes. I will see you very soon sometime somewhere on the internet. Bye!